Hi everyone, it's Daniela and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you're here. I am here with a tiny Tuesday morning haul to share. I'm trying to get all the videos done so I can blast them out for um, the advent calendar and it's hard to get caught up after losing four days, you know, but mm. So, on Wednesday, I just <laughs> couldn't take it anymore. And, you know, it's hard because my husband had to be home to keep our generator going. Because um, even that little bit of heat was better than none. And we couldn't just let it, like, putting all the energy into getting a small area warm and then saying, oh, let's just shut it down until I come home. You know, no, I couldn't, had to stay. So my husband was home all week. He's home now too, because today we're getting things clean after the madness. Baby Groot is here also, just so you know. Hey. So on Wednesday, I was like, I can't even take it. So I went to Tuesday morning. And for the first time, I think, ever, I was actually a little disappointed. And uh, not disappointed, but I guess I had such high hopes, you know. <laughs> and please, please, everyone, I hope you understand why I haven't been to your videos, commented, or seen what you're up to. I had no internet, had no nothing. And... Aside from going out and spending even more money on gas because we needed gas for the generator and driving around to charge our phones and stuff, we have a small battery for charging, but we all had to take turns and I wasn't and we had no internet. So I, I could have tried to use data, but I, I just couldn't use up my phone that way so frivolously when everything was like it was. If you don't know what I'm talking about, by the way, that I tell the story in the beginning of my advent calendar day two video, but we didn't have power. Long story. Moving on. So I went to Tuesday morning and I found some stuff, of course. I mean, nobody leaves Tuesday morning unhappy, you know, come on. So one of the first things I found in clearance these are Happy Holidays cards. Like, how silly is that? $1.99. They are from October of 2018. I took them out, and they're all there in all the envelopes. And I thought this was 40% off, which would have been $0.80 cents off. But I guess it was 60 because they only cost $0.80. Cents. And those are great to just have. Oh, snap, I forgot the mailman or something, you know. So that was awesome. I found this paper, and I was very happy about this. Watch out, baby Groot. I have the 12 by 12. I have a whole, like, collection I got from somewhere. I have a 12 by 12 paper, like ephemera and more ephemera or something. And I also have the washi. And this paper is beautiful, and it's sitting. I could see the basket there because I never I keep keeping it I keep keeping it in the front because I want to use it so bad and uh, and that's why hashtag no paper left behind is an amazing thing because you get to get rid of stuff that you've been wanting to use I know this month I'm not really doing it because I'm doing the advent calendar and I am so sad I missed a whole week of I feel like I've missed a whole week because today is not time for crafting either. Now we've got to get our business, I mean, all the wash, all the, just no water, so no clean dishes, no clean the refrigerator. I mean, it's a disaster here. So, um, so yes, the advent calendar is the best I can do. It's my own challenge and I just because I still want to make ornaments with you and I still want to do so many other things and I'm so 
fingers crossed, hopeful that some of these things will still happen. So anyway, Magnolia Jane, it's Heidi Swap, and this paper is beautiful. Like I told you, I have the whole um, 12 by 12 of it. Look at this black with the cream and white flowers, brick. She always throws in some of these odd patterns. That's why hashtag no paper left behind is great because you have to use them. This is beautiful. It's like marble kind of. And this is just paper that's got like water stains on it. And I love this. This is, I want a thousand sheets of it. Just make a billion books. I don't know. And this is so pretty. And this and that and that. And then we go into the real black and white, but it's it's not quite black and white because the flowers aren't really white. They're more of a cream. So good. And then this reminds me of old fashioned tile. I love this. I looked at a house that had original tile floors that were they were blue, but it was it's the coolest. I love it. This is another and this I don't quite understand. But I don't dislike this one. I don't dislike any of them. It's just that, like we said, and then here, look at that. I just love that watercolor kind of effect. And almost done. And this looks like it's quilted. And that green, that, that, one more in the back. Ah, look how beautiful that is. This is, I don't know if it's showing out though. It's like a green with the cream flowers. So for $2.99, that is a total deal arama. So happy with that. And then I found this. I was so excited. I was looking for one at the convention and I, I couldn't find one. And I found the Memento Firefly. Um, it's like, um, what did they call it? I think it's more like, kind of like a chamois, um, add water and you can clean your stamps with it. Moisten Stampy and ring out excessive water. Wipe or tap your stamps on Stampy to clean. Although Stampy will become stained, the ink will not transfer to other stamps. When done using Stampy, rinse it well. Let dry thoroughly before using. Once dry, it will become stiff. To reactivate, rehydrate with water. It's Stampy is the perfect way to clean rubber stamps, clear stamps, acrylic box. Stampy works on all ink types. So, I had wanted one of these. So, because I am a menace with my stamps. Oh my goodness, I am the worst. I like never clean them, like for real. Like I should, but I don't. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. So we got those guys. Got some cards. What else I got? Okay. It's a small haul. I think it was like $33. This was only $1.99. And the CMYK stamps. I had bought, uh, it says crepe paper, but I got... A bunch of sets of this from not a bunch like two I don't know, from we are memory keepers and um, I actually have the CMYK inks from we are memory keepers they're over there and <clears throat> it's like cyan or cayenne magenta yellow and black and if you use all four of those colors instead of it being blue pink yellow and black it's hard to see, but this is like a denim kind of blue. This is a green. This is a pink. A darker blue, yellow, peach, dark blue, light blue, and pink. So you'll end up with that. So for a dollar ninety-nine, and then it says bright and happy. I thought that was fun. So I said, yeah, that looks fun. Fun. I needed some fun, so I got some. 
Then I got some dies. This one I was excited about, Spellbinders. I have another one that makes a bookmark, and I love making bookmarks. I send them out with stuff. I write on the back, and they're fun. The one I have, though, has like a, a swirly thing on the top that then gets bent. So this one, and yes, I can cut a rectangle. The die cutting is so much more fun. But here's what I love, and then here's what I don't get also. So the other ones, oh, there's one, okay. Because all of them were in here, and I feel like one's missing now, but I know I have it, so I'm not that worried about it because I checked. Okay, so the bookmark is two by five and a quarter, and it comes with a little hole on the top. And then it comes with, it's a page clip, which, you know, goes like I will demonstrate right now for you with the die, which is probably the worst thing ever, but that's me. There you go. See, I got a page clip. So I love making those. And then I'm not sure this is the large circle and this is the medium circle and then there's the small triangle and a tiny triangle and like I said I counted because there's seven pieces and I counted them all so they're either still in here or they might be in the bag but I'm not worried about it because I know I have them I just don't understand what this guy is for like he would fit here but why? I mean, so anyway, I was excited to get this one. I like it very much. I like making bookmarks. I wish I remember saying these were so tiny. What are the tiny triangles for? All right. <laughs> I know they're here. I just don't know where. Everything is such a mess. <clears throat> so, I got that, and I was very happy to get this because, like I said, I like bookmarks. I like making bookmarks. I think they're a fun thing to send instead of a tag because you can use a tag as a bookmark, but I think bookmarks are more fun. So then I got this stars, which is ridiculous, but you know I love stars. And oddly, I'm putting all of my dies into um, cases with magnetic sheets. And right now I'm just throwing them all in, no rhyme or reason. And then I can go and say, okay, let's put all of the shapes in this one, you know, and like that. So. When I was going through, though, I don't have, like, a lot of stars, circles, ovals, squares. I, you, uh, I can't even. Not a lot, not of nesting. So I figured it was expensive but worth it. And I like how the middle star is, um, you know, it almost gives it a 3D effect. So I got that. Mm -hmm. Very happy. You go up there, you can go here, you move over there. Everybody keep it together today. Come on, people. Okay. Oh, I could also uh, zoom out. Oh, all this room now. Oh, my heck. <laughs> I don't want to cover that one because I want you to see that I found the grooviest bookmark ever. Okay. And this is my madness right here. I spent $4.49, not on this, on this. It's a hedgehog. I have these little hedgehogs on my buttercream Christmas tree, and they're so cute, and I love this. It's got the outside and the inside, and I just, I just had to have it. Had to have it, had to have it. That's all I can say is I had to have it. Period. Had to. It was 
very important to me. And then I got this because I have bird cages dies, but they're huge. They're like from Anna Griffin. And this is very nice to just put on a, a small card and live your dreams and the little birds and the heart. So I thought this would be good for that, <clears throat> for using for that reason. So I thought I would get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on. why am I having such a hard time? I don't hardly have anything here. And I'm acting like I just can't possibly fit another thing <laughs> in my stuff. Oh, I am a wreck. I'm a mess, people. Bear with me. I want everybody to see my stampy, too. You know, stampy. Heard of them. There's my hedgehog. Right on. And the last couple of things. I wish they had ten more of this. Here are our Tanging Toys Ornament 3 Woodblock Stamps and one Ink Cube. And they have a Nutcracker and I had figured them all out recently. Uh, a Rocking Horse and um, a thing, uh, I think a Ballet Dancer or a Fairy. And it has an ink that's gold. And it was two twenty two ninety nine, and I was like, "How fun would these be to send for Happy Mail?" And they have it has iridescent little grass in it, so I was so happy to find. At least I found one. I thought that was so fun, super fun. Stop rolling, okay? But there, ta da! And I got another pack of these, not because I don't already have them from Snow and Coco, but I have I using the little pom poms for other things than Snow and Coco using. So I thought, grab them while you can, you know. Flip this guy under here a little bit. Flip him backwards. Flip him here. Stop it. Nope, he can go back so we can see my hedgehog. Ta-da, ta-da. Yeah, go in there, hedgehog. <laughs> awesome. And finally, I got a thing of this wool. I wanted some white yarn. Just wanted just white because I wanted to use my new pom-pom maker and make some snowmen. But the white that they had was yucky. And this is a very, 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 very light pink. And I said, rather make pink snowmen than dirty white snowmen. <laughs> so I grabbed it. And I, I don't have a Hobby Lobby, as I've said before. So... And there is a Joann's, but it's like a billion miles away, and it's not even the far away. It's nothing else I would go to as close to it. Like, there's a Best Buy, but there's a Best Buy by Tuesday morning I go to. There's a Walmart. There's a Walmart everywhere. So I really don't do that a lot. Go to Joann. Well, who put Baby Groot right there? Or do you think he should go next to the hedgehog? No, everybody's falling down. Baby Groot. So, um, I thought that was my, my best plan was getting it a Tuesday morning. So, that's all I've got to share this week. Um, not huge, but not tiny. It's a good haul. And um, it's nice sometimes to not spend a billion trillion dollars a Tuesday morning. If I wanted to spend a billion trillion dollars anywhere, it would be Tuesday morning because this is a great amount of stuff for like 33 bucks. <clears throat> so where else would you go 
where else could you go, I guess is a better way to put it. No, I didn't spend my gift card yet either. So, you know, I did not because there wasn't anything special. So, told you I wanted something special. So, thank you so much for watching. And um, thank you for all of your wonderful comments about my four-day ordeal. All of your sweet prayers and your inspirational comments. They really mean so much to me because you are all just the best people ever and I appreciate you all so much. So thank you so much for watching. Stay awesome everyone and keep your eyes open for more Advent Calendar videos coming very soon. I'll see you in the next one. Stay awesome. Bye.